Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 2 of Vault Wardens, which originally streamed live on Twitch. Oh, bomb. And right now I have them all locked indoors. That event, it's going to be hard snow. At 95 Fahrenheit. That's, that's sensible. Very sensible. Uh, next thing I want to do is... Let's have Alaric hack this door, because it's just going to be in my way. And then set up doors so that this could be a hospital slash laboratory. Space is a resource in this playthrough? Absolutely. Uh, one of the things that, that you might note is... Um, I'm not allowed to live outdoors, like, at any point. I can't have any footprint outdoors. Which even means that this point defense turret probably should be brought inside. So this point defense turret, if you're wondering, uh, fires at drop pods, fires at enemies, and can fire at explosive projectiles. So it's like a, a very interesting turret. And let me get the... Inevitably get the bot back online. Yeah, this is going to be frustrating. Trickmaster, thanks for the bits. Ba baffled, thanks for the resub. Carson and Trickmaster for more bits. I appreciate it. Am I allowed to mine resources outside the vault? Yes, that wouldn't be a footprint. Um, I know how it seems semantically. But but basically, we can't ranch or farm outside. We can't have shacks or anything. But the uh, external resources are fine to exploit. Let's update. We're just going to be cleaning up the vault for now. Trying to set all of the... Uh, trying to make it livable. This was like a military-styled installation, and we want it to be livable. Your plan is to not message the bot for an hour or so. Yeah, the problem is every time the bot comes down, people aren't gaining coins. So it's a constant struggle of uh, bot going offline. Up, Kagan. Thank you for the sub. And Tangier for the resub. You're finally over a year. <laughs> uh, so, questions for you. I was thinking about maybe making the collective altar up here. For the ritual room. Because this is obviously going to be hospital. This is all sterile tile. This here could be dining and recreation. Meaning that maybe food storage being here. I don't know what to do about these two bedrooms. The thing is, like, you have to realize I can't really change the vault walls without immense amount of work to do. I'm assuming you're not allowed to expand the vault. Um, I could expand the vault, but it would take... Just a, a, a ridiculous amount of effort because of um, because of how difficult it is to damage these walls. In fact, I think it's a pretty good rule not to and just live within the confines of the vault. Because technically, if we break through a wall and start expanding, that's out of the vault. That's not in the vault anymore. And that would be a uh, breakdown of our rules. So, let's see here. Um... I could put the kitchen here, perhaps, so that these can be four bedrooms. Put the kitchen in here, and then the dining room in here. Moving this stuff over there as the hospital. Something like that. Did that even go back on? Okay, there it goes. Then for bathrooms, latrines, uh, this little nook here would be okay for a toilet, maybe? I'll, I'll have to figure it out once I start removing things from from the uh, the base. I, I'd also like to embed the cables in the wall and then remove the amount of batteries that I have plugged in. Because it's a dangerous amount of batteries. The hard snow is over. That's good.
What should our priority be? Three simple ideas here. Improving the vault that we live in, so it's more homey, more comfortable. Contacting other vaults to try to expand our population, uh, which might be dangerous. Um, or viewer submitted ideas, something that uh, that you guys have voted on. So these ancient fuel tanks, when broken down, spawn chem fuel, which is cool. So we have a lot of backup power. We have sort of um, an infinite amount of of uh, chem fuel, which is great. And. Can anyone mine? Myers can mine. All right, Myers. Let's uh Where is the closest steel? All right, there's some steel right here. Let's get this. Also, uh one of the things that you could do when the Twitch toolkit is online is the owners of these two can also change work priorities through commands. All right, Eric, I'm going to take you off of construct and put you on research. So another thing that I want to get going here is a research bench. Simple research bench. And for that, I need some more steel. So let's break down these sarcophagi. Build a research bench and probably get a wall lamp in there so that I can see what I'm researching. Alaric, uh, no more mining. All right. So for research, let's end this. You guys want me to improve the vault? Got it. Uh, what should I research? I'm going to have you vote on that. Uh, I can't control the bot in that way, Daft. That's uh, that's part of the botted mod. So if you want to mod that behavior in for me, cool. Um, but that's not something I can do on the fly. The question was, can we have like a reason for events not working? So like some obvious ones, if you're trying to buy things like Aurora, it's not nighttime. You can't buy an Aurora during the day. You're not going to be able to see it. You know, same with like eclipses it during, you know, so on and so forth. So some of them are just obvious of like, don't buy events that don't make sense for the time of day, but uh, the toolkit doesn't give you that kind of response. So what should we research first? Uh, let's take a look. We could do Psychoid Brewing. If morale, you think morale is going to be an issue, or Beer Brewing. Those are some low-hanging fruit. because They're sort of easy. Uh, we could do Smithing. If you think we need more gear sooner or later, because that leads to machining and then gunsmithing, all that. Uh, let's see. Hydroponics. Now, hydroponics, there's a caveat. Uh, it's very challenging to produce power inside, right? I can't have solar outside. That's not something that we're going to be able to do. So hydroponics means I can only really grow within the means and the power production of the facility. Um, once we get uh, Once we get biofuel refining, maybe we can think about more, but uh, adding more to a power grid. But we have a sensitive power grid because everything has to be indoors. Or microelectronics. So here is some options. Put that up. And for now, I am going to queue up Packer Survival Meals because that's not on the poll. So that I'm not trying to influence it one way or another. So now I'm going to the effort to try to embed power cables in the walls so that they're not so tedious. And then 
will start to have designated rooms for certain tasks. How much chem fuel can be extracted? 250 chem fuel every like six days or so. So it's a very hefty amount of chem fuel. But I would also say that like we can't just slap a bunch of biofuel refinery, uh, you know, chem fuel generators down and expect to not run out of fuel. That is going to cause some problems. So, yeah, I'm going to do this as a ritual. So I'm going to have a steel altar and a steel lectern that Brett will build. Alaric is now researching Packer survival meals and Myers is mining out here. I'll just have to constantly reboot this. I already have two generators. Yep, I do. I have two ancient generators. But what I'm saying is, um, you know, I don't want to add so much hydroponics that I can't keep up with even the amount of power that they can output. Does that make sense? All right, I would say Brett. Let's go for that good assault rifle, too. Even though you're bit more of a bit more of a, uh, a brawler, but I don't have any weapons for you. Okay. Uh, smithing wins by a vote. Very close. Let's start queuing up smithing. What room to work on first? What do you think we should work on first? Ritual rooms, library, hospital, recreation, dining, bathrooms, or something that you suggest? Make sure not to destroy my pipeline junction because that would be terrible can't build them. And we revealed, yep, something that doesn't matter. I'd also like to get all of this destroyed so it doesn't look like we're inside of a base. Because I don't want it to make it obvious to um, potential incomers that we live here. I want it to look like we don't. Wow. I have timber shrooms growing in my base. That's how you know it's uh, old and janky. Right, I'm getting rid of some of this uh, collapsed rock as well. Now that I have a column to hold up the room. All right. And this is disrespected because it needs to be all floored. So let's fix that. Free mushrooms? Well, the problem is, due to our light level, they're dying. So, they, they're they free, except for they're not going to ever yield, because they just keep dying. Dying because exposed to light. And who's our grower? Alaric? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, he's a grower. Because obviously we're whittling down our pack of survival meals, but... Um, I'm not all that concerned about that, because we'll get... Uh, we can always hunt. We can't farm outdoors, that's one of the rules, but we can hunt outdoors. As long as we don't leave any trace. Essentially, we're trying to stay in hiding. This is roleplay, it's not required by the mod. Don't be failing, I see you failing. Don't be failing. Alright, bathrooms. I'm 
Improve the vault and add bathrooms. Got it. Um, blood is normal to find out in the wild when animals hunt other animals, so I'm not worried about blood. It's basically just don't leave structures that make it seem like we live here. A little blood is not an indicator of humans being around. It's an indicator that an animal bled, which is kind of normal in Rimworld. I hear those um, jaguars or whatever they are just shredding out there. So, still more work to be done to clean up. I was planning on using this, yeah, here as a bathroom. Like this area here. And we have, uh, what happens next? A reminder, you have to whisper the bot. And yes, I know the bot is probably offline, so. It, animal disease or foreigner? Really, did the bot die after, like, uh, eight boats? For real? This is the most dysfunctional bot ever. Whoever wrote this code should lose their day job. <laughs> Dejuka, thanks for the resub. All right, Myers, I think what I'm going to have you do is to... Actually, I don't want you constructing. Is there anything else you could do? You could just mine warden a little bit. Oh, we got a meteorite from Zero Day. Donk. Let's uh let's start assigning roles as well. Let's do some some role assignments. So Alaric, you are gonna be given the role of commander. And Techie, thanks for the sub and welcome. I'm guessing the, uh, the core is dead. And then I'm going to have you guys decide who gets Quartermaster. There's the poll for that. Who becomes quartermaster? Myers, who has a social four, a passion, but is actually deaf and can't hear anyone <laughs> as a morale officer. Uh, Brett, who has a social of two, but can actually hear people or someone that have not yet met because my choices are less suck. Alright, I'm also going to break down these uh, ancient bulbs here as well. Here we go, we're getting a pretty little, pretty little base now. Alright, so the other thing I wanted to do is to move the chem fuel power generators up here. Where the chem fuel junction is, that makes sense. And then probably store the chem fuel on shelves. Which I will install. Flick those off. You don't need them using power. And then we have a stockpile here. This is just uh, the chem fuel room here. And yeah, there's an explosion chance, but there is for everywhere in this base. These shelves I'm just going to pull out. We don't need shelves in here, and I'm going to set up yet another bedroom. Bot dead again? Yep. Yeah, it just can't handle this kind of traffic, I don't think. It's, uh... Bot is weak. Ooh. And Flake Glass also sending me some marble from the sky. Uh... Is 
got renamed, I guess. All right, Brett. Bedroom's here. Actually, Myers. Move your bed. There it is. And move the end table. I'll keep these two end tables and uninstall them, and then all the other end tables I'm just going to destroy. No, I'll just uninstall. I don't have to remake them. Fine. And Mallet, set it to fuck. Alright, you guys want someone unmet, so I'm not going to assign a quartermaster yet. It will remain unfulfilled. And we have a shaman merchant from the Tasana tribe coming in. Hello. Hello, baboon. And a new little reminder that you have to whisper to bot. A new random event. Bot back online. So, I haven't really made a lot of headway with the uh, the bathrooms yet. I will be. Just a moment. And then let me change the work here so that we actually flick at a higher priority. Go. Because I don't really need... Uh... Yeah. It's both the neutrals. So bad will win. Yeah, it's just the way it is sometimes. All right, Alaric. Trade once you're up. So there's still some things left to hack. Uh, these three crates I have to hack open. And stuff to break down as well. We are running a little low on survival meals, so I should be cooking soon. And then the idea was to turn... Ooh, this is silver tile. It's going to be one heck of a nice uh, bathroom. So, I'm going to have you guys make a little decision here about where I put the bathroom. So one option is to place the bathroom here. This door here will be the dedicated bathroom door. And the bathroom will go in this spot. So this is bathroom area one. Um, bathroom area two would be... Let's figure this out. Uh, here. Bathroom area two would be back here where, uh, we just have a door here leading to a bathroom. So this is option two. And then option number three will be, uh, somehow nested up here near the barracks. It'd be smaller. So this is option number three. All right, there you go. You can vote on that. And let me get the core back online. You can vote in that there up top. Oh, you are coming into my base, are you? That's just rude. All that extra foot traffic is going to be gross. Alaric, if you could wake up, that'd be, like, great. So, they have geese, alpaca, not much else that I want to trade. I don't really have any silver, so doing nothing here, I don't think. I don't feel like parting with my, um, with any of my resources. Brett's on a little bit of a, a cleanup. Uh, Alaric, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hack these to get them out of the way. So that we gain the advanced components, we gain the glitter world bands, and we gain the gold. And then we'll, we'll despawn them. Wow, that was fast.
trying to remove all the doodads that um, don't have meaning. Don't matter. Making sure not we're not destroying the simulation drives here. Just the power cables. I'll move them out of the way. Just to be sure. And then these nanite containers have to be plugged in immediately. Chat event. Fog. Because if they're not plugged in, the uh, the nanites uh, will degrade very, very, very quickly. Bot is dead. I know. There's no need to whisper me. I just assume the bot dies within a few minutes of bringing it back online. All right. Uh, for now, Myers, I want you to start hauling as a highest priority because there's a lot of stuff to haul. And you guys say southeast end of the rec room. So that would be here. So I'm going to remove the floor here so that I can build a wall. And let's get rid of all the plants. I might have to micromanage Brett to do this. Wouldn't a hotkey for the bot be nice? Sure. So we have a little bit of silver now. Brett refuses to, uh, there we go. All right. <clears throat> and let's see. For us to have, because right now we're going to have fecal sludge that we just don't know what to do with. Um, I don't know. I don't think your dubs fertilizer is going to work with hydroponic farms. It might, but um, sort of the besides the point. So what I want to do is um, set up an electric pump and a well and all that so that we can have a source of water. So over here, let's set up a toilet, which we will check the occupancy for. So a stall door. And then we'll have the sink basin And the other things eventually. Here, let me put the sink where it's not where I can fit in like a bathtub. So, starting on the plumbing. Obviously, we're going to need some lights. Put in some wall lamps. So, in hygiene, uh, we want a water well. I'm trying to think of the least intrusive spot to put the well. Yeah, maybe right where the old latrine is. Let me move the latrine so I can put the well down. I don't mind running... Um, plumbing kind of everywhere in the base. That's fine. So this here could be like my um, water filtration room instead. So water well, an electric pump, and we're going to need to fix some of the cabling in here. And this isn't plugged in, which it should be. Now, this is getting cold again. Let's just assume that we can keep the power on. Um, I can always install these uninstalled batteries as like cases of emergency. So for plumbing, do still plumbing. I will run plumbing like. I'll look into ways to um, 
to try to get the uh, the toolkit running more reliably because it's running like garbage. Uh, this is not a stairwell. This is a slingshot, which I'll probably actually get rid of. All right. Ah, you know what? With how long it takes to even open that door, get it. Keep it closed. All right, Brent, you have a lot of work to do. So here's the plumbing for the bathroom. Kind of a nice looking bathroom with the silver floors and all. Jeez. We're <laughs> wearing matching shirts. You're in, uh, you're in, like, lumberjack flannel. So Myers is helping to tidy up, which is great. Oh, this is not a weapon shelf. Darklight, thanks for the sub. And Techie as well. Here we go. Here's my electric pump. And then we're also going to want a some water storage. So it's going to look a little strange that we'll have a water tower uh, in here. Let me pump here. A little bit real compressed because we have a severe lack of room. And then a water tower. And then at some point we might unlock water filtration over here. A little water treatment. But we're not quite there yet. And then, on the other end of the plumbing, uh, let's also get a shower. So this will want to be in a, um, a stall as well, so I'll move this. And then we'll want uh, some sort of septic system going on, which is weird to have underground in a cave here, but uh, that's just the way it's going to be. So at some point we'll want a septic tank, but for now we can just have a sewage outlet. I wonder if I could just do it like that. Just spray it outside. <laughs> Leave no trace except for the pile of human turd that gets sprayed outside. Here, let's, uh, I'll put the septic uh, inside so I don't technically violate those rules, but getting um, a septic tank system might be good. We're going to build up some fecal sludge as a result. So now when raiders raid us, they get to march through our poop to, uh, to fight us. By design. Almost done with the first bathroom. Almost. Puking invaders can't fight. Yep. Excuse your noggin. Break their will down. So we're going to have a small disease risk, but without the water filtration, but uh, that's fine. We're, we're working on more research here. We'll get there. So Myers is still hauling for us, hauling rice into the frozen room. And then Brett should be building. Let's force Brett over here to work on this segment. So the plumbing is now leading to the sewage out outlet. And this is all plumbed up now. So get a little stall door. 
And then we can check occupancy so that no one walks in. Oh, uh, ooh, and we have a quest. I think uh, instead of the stall doors, I'm gonna have regular doors so that we can use each object separately. So this quest here, a 15 year old servant girl, oh boy, what is this? Uh, law of surprise? Uh, yeah, she's unwilling to tell us anything about herself. I think we're about to do something really evil, but... Spell. B-I-E. We only allow ancients to join us, keep that in mind. But, here's the first poll. Should we offer refuge to her? Yes or no? She almost certainly will not be allowed to stay as a result of not being of our ideology or our origins. But that doesn't necessarily mean we can't just like offer her temporary refuge and then whatever that leads to. All right, so occupancy check, occupancy check. So now we have a shower, we have a bathroom. I might expand this to make it a little bit larger at some point, because obviously it's uh it's pretty cramped, but it's version 1.0. Good enough. And with that done, we can break these two things down. We no longer need the old well or the, uh, the latrine, and then uh, soon I'll be asking you what uh, work what work to do next. So no. Sorry. But almost expired, too. What should we next focus on? Here are some options. And a puppy treat that I missed. Sorry about that. Buddy. At least Yoda's not being weird anymore. He was acting all sorts of strange. How's our home zone look? More tribe merchants coming our way? Trying to get the bot back online. These bedrooms are all slightly impressive. We also have a gow sprout. Uh, I don't really care about gow sprouts, but I'll harvest it so I can sell it. So our ideology wants uh, pews, so let me set up some pews. The floor here is like perfect for pews, which is great. And we can hack this again, so let me hack for more chem fuel. And in fact, let me turn on the chem generators just to top up the batteries, so we can get as many batteries as we can get. A work frenzy for Brett, which is good, because he's our grower. And, uh... I don't think there's going to be anything for us to buy at the Shaman Merchant, but I'll check again. I'd like to buy the Insanity Lance, but it's kind of outside of our ability to afford. Nope. Bye-bye now. So we're down to only 13 meals, but we have a lot of rice already grown. And... Larrick, you should be harvesting that rice. All right, so these batteries are... Oh, this one is not connected to anything. Um, I'm trying to top up the batteries with the chem generators, and then I'll have multiple networks soon. So we're just going to dump a whole lot. Oh, God, get your pets out of my... Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. And you guys want to improve the vault. 
Got it. One second, just get this poll written up. There it goes. What do you think we should work on? Now I'm just trying to get cables and wires up so that we can illuminate things nicely. temple. Shouldn't be called a temple, but that's fine. Oh, and you have something to vote in. Just a reminder that you have to whisper the bot and let me get the bot back online because God knows it's probably offline already. Alright, so here's the Gao Seed. Good. And let's hack. Wreck and Dining is the leading option. All right. Keep that in mind. Yeah, I could I could fix up the power cables around here to lower the chance of uh, explosions. I'm not going to worry about that right now because it would have to be voted on. I'm just going to focus on what's getting voted on for the moment. The mending station, I'm going to move out of there. No, oh, these are end tables. Where's my students? Got them the same. I'm just uh, prepping this ahead of time because it looks like it's going to win. Did that bot not stay up for like even a second? It's ridiculous. Oh, and we have a raid from the Verilor Crown. Oh, and they're geared. And then another Ambrosia Sprout from, or not another, but an Ambrosia Sprout from uh, Turtle Sandwich. Um, I also just want to make it clear that... Um, this does not count as my footprint. I mean, I, I, I figured that was probably obvious to, to many of you, but um, yeah, this isn't me farming. This is just me uh, putting a, um, a grow zone where I'm not going to be sowing to harvest the, uh, the ambrosia. Naturally occurring ambrosia, you can think of that. So. One and it looks like that bot already died. Dang. All right, so this raid here, I'm going to wake Brett up because Brett's in the best mood and get these turrets online. Uh, we do have dead power and live power, and they're going to be coming in here. So, I'm forcing this door open and flicking these on. And then let's get our shooters in position here. Uh, this cylinder does provide cover, so I'll put someone behind the cylinder. Actually, no way. Just use the shelf. Alright, it's open. Uh, I'll get into the mending station once I use it for the first time. Oop. Uh, they're shooting. Draw them in. Myers got, got clipped. Who's good at doctoring? Come on in. Oh, you're just gonna be punching stuff? That's just obnoxious. So 
So Pret um, is bugged. Let me try to unbug Brett. He's not supposed to have icy breath. I don't know why he does. I just won't use it, I guess. All right, I'm going to hit combat command. A little bit more accuracy out of this. This turret is going down, so I'm going to push forward here. Let me get uh, god mode and dev mode off. And it looks like you guys want wreck and dining, so I'll update that. Are you coming in? Try to add remove. Uh, that's a good call. Let me try to do that. Add icy breath and then remove it. It worked. Sweet. Smart. S M R T. Oddly, we have a man in black coming in. I don't know why. Ouch! I just got lit up. Back up. I need to remove the their cover here. I had queued that up, but obviously I hadn't gotten very far. Uh, you are not even supposed to be here. Uh, you're just I want you out. Bye bye. Goodbye. Everybody's sad that he got banished, but. Uh, we're not adding randoms like this. Can I get a line of sight on anyone here? No. Struck. Blah. I'd like for them to come inside. If they want to just like bash things outside, that's fine. I guess I'll just I'll I'll be okay with this. They can just wreck the outdoors. I don't want that junk anyway. Polaris all patched up. Myers is patched up. And we're just waiting for these raiders to decide to raid. I'm going to off-center this so they can't shoot it from the outside of the doors. And repair some of these walls. So it's going to be important for us to strip out this junk soon. Another thing we could do is we could um, set up bed rest higher so that we, for our wounded, rest. Because these uh, crypto sleeps help. I like how they're trying to attack my vault walls like they're ever going to get inside. And the ambushed Baron. No, I, uh, not helping the crown ever. Yep, keep bashing. You'll find your way in. Let's uh, let's go let's go get rid of Martina now. So the way to do this is probably to set Myers to go melee to close the distance in that way, so that she can't fire back on us. Done. And then the last guy here, we're gonna just hunt. If I can catch him. We're in flak and they're in flak. I don't know. They might be faster. I'll have Brett try to chase him down. Lucky shots. Yep, hit him, but he still got out. Oh, I had a new Ambrosia Sprout. Oh no, this is the original one. Okay, cool. All right, Brett, it would be very nice if you uh, got more of this dining room set up. And he goes to sleep. Got it. Got it. Would be like that, huh? Now let's get Core back online. And for meds here, I'm going to say Dr. Care No Meds for now. Because I don't want to be burning our meds this way.
Oh, that was cold water, wasn't it? Uh, I could fix that. Let's get a hot water tank going. Brent. We don't have to take, take cold showers. The Myers is fully recovered, and he'll be hauling things in. The good, the good event was the uh, Man in Black, but I'm not allowing, um, I'm not allowing events like that to to occur. So when the um, when the toolkit sends stuff like that, I'm just going to banish. I'm going to take you off a of bed rest. You're healed up enough. And here comes the dining room. And rec room. So then the idea is to install the cooler in here. Like that. Maybe the kitchen in here as well. Now the trick is this, um, this kitchen acts as a butchery. So it's got a kind of a two-for-one function and that's gonna uh, be a bit of a problem for us but we'll we'll fix it uh, so this stockpile is going bye-bye we'll put the heater in here or the cooler rather in here whoops I don't need your speech and then this will be our kitchen so we'll store meals here. That are everything but pack of survivals. And then raw food here. Minus animal, well, animal products are fine. Minus insect jelly, because that doesn't decay. Minus fertilized eggs, not that we have any. And then let's also take out raw fungus, insect meat, and human meat, because we don't want any of that. Got it. Uh, if you're wondering if I'm going to play X or Y game, um, just look at this link. This will explain how series are chosen. And for those that didn't see Twitch chat just now. It's at Radamut.com. It's part of the uh, menu bar. So, uh, once this wall is built, which is up to Brett, um, we'll, uh, we'll get the kitchen going. I'm going to leave this door open just like I left the last one open. Then the pack of survival meals are just going to go, ooh, god, we put the corpses in here? That's nasty. All right, so corpses, waste. No, waste is fine. Corpses, chunks uh, can come out here. One thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have a method to burn corpses so that we leave no trace. So we're... This here will not be for animal corpses. It'll be for rotten or fresh human corpses. And we have an eclipse. Uh, if there's price differences, I'm going to update it later. I'll work to correct whatever differences there are. One of the problems with Twitch Toolkit is um, it's, well, kind of broken and very finicky. So uh, there's a lot of problems like that with uh, pricing things. It just sort of changes things on the fly. Turn this off. So here is our rec room. And we want floors in it, ideally. So we're going to get rid of the um, the asphalt here. And replace it with actual floors. Not nice floors for now, but just, just steel floors, concrete. It's not broken asphalt, it's all floored up. So a bit of a patchwork, but that's fine. 
Thank you for tuning in to Vault Wardens, which originally streamed live on Twitch. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you have questions about this series, a lot of the information about it can either be found in the description of the video or on my website, Rodamont.com. The link to that can also be found in the description. I want to apologize for all of the technical issues that I had with Twitch Toolkit and with the mod itself. Hopefully these issues can get worked out for next week's stream. Thank you all so very much for watching. A special thank you to all my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode. Farewell.